Then Isaiah comes in and encourages me. But he was wounded for our transgressions. Yes, yes, yes. He was bruised for our iniquities. Yes. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, we are here. Yes. Come on, give God praise. Tell your neighbor there's glory, there's glory. After, this. after this. It is the product of suffering that causes us to rejoice. If God or whatever took you to it, the love of God will bring you through it. That's why we must persevere. Perseverance, perseverance. The Greek word literally means to remain firm under pressure. I come to find out of a hall that suffering teaches us to stand firm under pressure. Tell, tell, tell your neighbor, say neighbor. neighbor. Are you standing? Are you standing? Come on, tell me on the side, say neighbor. neighbor. Are you standing? Right there. Another word for perseverance is steadiness. God uses our trials to make us more mature, stable, and steady under pressure. You can be encouraged to know that God says, I will turn your bitter into better. Sometimes we ask for things that make us better. But God said, if you trust me, I'll make it better. What you're carrying right now might be heavy. But you have to find a way to see the greater good in your trials. God has a way, church, of bringing satisfaction out of our struggles. Don't be discouraged. Don't get distracted. Because there's glory. After this. I'm out of sight. Mm -hmm. uh, Dr. Alfonso, uh, uh, I found out of uh, Hall oh, Bishop that the theology of suffering is this. When we come to Christ, we have meaning in our suffering. What you mean, Brother Arnold? What you mean? It means that Jesus is the only one who is eternally interested in our suffering. Every test, every trial, every heartache that's been significant, we can turn it over to God and see how God has turned it into good no matter what the outcome come may be. Yes. There's glory after this. Our present trials, as, as Paul says, are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. The Spirit prays for us with groanings too deep for words. The Father answers these prayers and allows certain events to happen. Why? Why am I not going through this? I'm doing the best I can. Why? I'm going to church. I'm saying I'm doing it. I'm, why, Lord? Why am I going through? We can't fully know why. But we do know that God knows best. He presents these events because either we or someone close to us needs to hear this testimony. I found out, church, God has a way of weaving these events into a perfect plan so that good will come out of either the worst suffering and tragedy. Yes, yes. Tell somebody, but God. But God. But God. But God. But God. But God. 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 God
suffer, but it does guarantee that our suffering brings us closer to the coming glory. There's glory after this. We are being prepared for something beyond our ability to imagine or comprehend. One of these days, when we reach the end of life, if not before, we will step out of time into an incredible eternity of glory. It is the glory that Jesus Christ had before the beginning of the world. A glory that will one day we shall share with him. As we face our sufferings, we are blessed and comforted by the privilege of being considered worthy to suffer. Yeah. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor, yeah. it's a privilege to suffer. Yeah. Give God praise right there. Yeah. I want to encourage someone this morning. It's a privilege to suffer for the name of Jesus so that we may share in his glory. Uh, you can have the nice material thing, the prestige, the title, you know, all that is good. But give me God's glory. I just want to encourage somebody. You may lose this, you may lose that, you may lose him, you may leave her. But get the glory. <laughs> yeah. I want to tell someone today. I don't know why the Lord gave me this during my message. But he said there's purpose in the place of your pain. There's purpose in the midst of your pain. Mm -hmm. God can use the worst conditions and situations to our benefit. If we learn to obey Him, fast, pray, seek His face. Family, God will take your availability and touch it with his God ability and give you use ability, which will open up new possibilities. Tell somebody, say it. Go ahead. Without words, is there. Come on and give God a praise. I'm going to say that again. That was the Lord that gave me this when I was studying. God will take your availability and touch it with his God ability and give you usability, which will open up new possibility. Give God praise. There was a story about a young boy whose mother had always taught him to stand on the word of God. He had heard this say time and time again. It had been instilled in him that in the times of trouble, you can stand on the word of God. <laughs> One day, the mother of this young boy had left the house to go to the store. She also left some food cooking on the stove top. The food overcooked and started a fire. Smoke filled the house, and the little boy could not reach the window to escape. He placed a chair by the window in an attempt to climb out, but he wasn't tall enough to reach and open the window. Rather than panic, he remembered what his mother had told him. <laughs> Y'all hear me? In the times of trouble, you can always stand on the word of God. He saw a Bible on the table picked it up, placed it on the seat of the chair by the window. Then he stood on the bike, 
Well, that was all the height he needed to open the window and climb to safety. <laughs> the fireman arrived. And his mother was yelling, my son, my son, my son is in the house. My son, my son. The little boy come and yell, mom, mama, here I am. I'm here, I made it out. I made it, mom. The mother said, how did you get out? She asked, how, how did you get there? The boy said, you told me. <laughs> you told me. I could always stand.
whatever you're going through, whatever the world is throwing at you, whatever you're experiencing, that has the weight of the world on your shoulder. Be encouraged to know there's glory That's right. after this. After this. I don't know about nobody else. But I thank God for healing, deliverance, His touch. God can do it. Yes, sir.